Welcome Bearcats back to Jackson Square. Today we're going to be looking at multiplying fractions using an area model. So first of all, we want to remember the parts of our fraction, our numerator, our denominator, and our fraction bar. Our numerator tells us how many parts are shaded out of the parts the denominator tells us to create or that the whole has been broken up into. We are going to look at the first problem just to get a start. Two thirds times one half. When I do two thirds times one half, remember the first fraction is always going to be my rows, which go left to right. And my second fraction is going to be my columns, which go up and down. My first fraction has a denominator of three. So I'm going to take my area model and break it into thirds. Again, I'm going left to right. And now I have one, two, three sections. My numerator tells me that I need to shade two out of three of these. And if you don't have a color pencil and you have to shade, this is one of the ways you can shade. Then my second fraction is one half. So I'm going to create two columns. I'm going to break this into two columns. One, two. My numerator tells me that I should shade in one of those two columns. So again, I'm using a pencil. I'm going to shade and create lines going in the opposite direction. And as you can see, this is kind of a better method than the color pencils. What I'm looking for for my numerator is the box where I have an overlap. So for me now, I'm looking for the boxes where I see X's instead of just slashes. So I see two overlap boxes. And then my denominator is how many total boxes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So the answer to this problem would be two, six by using a model. And if you would like to simplify, my GCF or greatest common factor would be two. And I would have one third would be my simplified answer. So let's look at some of the homework problems now. I am going to do one of them Let's look at this one. And this time I'm going to use color pencils just to spice it up. My first fraction is 3 fifths, so I'm going to create five rows. And my second fraction is 2 thirds, so I'm going to have three columns. So let me create my five rows. And my numerator here tells me I need to shade in three of those five. I need to shade in three of those five. And I just pick any random three. They can be next to each other. It's whatever you like. Um, For my second fraction, it tells me I need three columns, so I'm going to create three. And of the three, two of them need to be shaded. Two need to be shaded, so I'm going to shade in two. And again, remember, we're looking for the boxes where there is the overlap. So I'm looking for overlap boxes. Second, if I can adjust that a little bit. I'm looking for boxes where I have the green and the red. I see one, two, 
three, four, five, six. I have six boxes that have the overlap of green and red. And then for my denominator, I just want the total boxes. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen boxes. Then you always look to see if you can simplify, if you know the GCF or you know a common factor. I can see that both of these can be evenly divided by three. There are two groups of three and six, and there are five groups of three in 15. So two fifths in simplest form. I hope this was helpful and good luck Bearcats.